So, distinguished Chief Content Officer Alan, dear friends, ladies and gentlemen, good evening. Thank you for attending today's event. I'm very glad to come to London in this beautiful season and introduce you my city, Guangzhou. Before we start, I would like to convey my condolences to the victims in the recent terrible and heart-wrenching terrorist attacks in London and Manchester. Although thousands of miles apart, our hearts are pinched by the same accidents and we share a common aspiration for peace and justice. The world is interconnected in so many ways. A butterfly flatters its wings in Amazon. A huge tornado may occur somewhere in Pacific Ocean. A football game in the England may chug. Great waves of enthusiasm in China. I know that there are several famous football teams here, say, with millions of Chinese fans, say, Arsenal, Chelsea, and Hotspur. Coincidentally, our city, Guangzhou, is also famous for its football culture in China. Guangzhou Evergrande Club has won the Asia Football Confederation Champion League twice and is heading for the third. In many ways, we are sharing the same passion and dream. Besides sports, Guangzhou also has so many stories to tell, and today I will go to share with you some of them. But let me first take a step back and give you some hard facts about Guangzhou. Guangzhou, also known as Canton, is a famous port city and a starting point of the ancient Maritime Silk Road. With 2,231 years old of history, it's the only trading port in China that has never been closed to the outside world. Today, it remains a gateway city in South China, adjacent to Hong Kong and Macau. As the capital city of Guangdong province, China's largest economy, Guangzhou has almost 20 million population with a total area of 7,434 square kilometers. Now let's take a look at Guangzhou's features and stories one by one. First, Guangzhou is a hot destination for commerce and investment. With a reputation as the millennium business capital, Guangzhou is known for its openness. Today, it remains a gateway city in South China. In 2016, Guangzhou registered a GDP of 290 billion US dollars, ranking the third after Beijing and Shanghai for 28 years in a row. Our per capita GDP has entered the 20,000 US dollars club. In fact, Guangzhou is rated by the UN as the fastest growing mega city in the world from 2010 to 2015. It's also rated by PwC as the top city of, of opportunities in China for the past two years, and has topped Forbes list as the best business city in mainland China for five times in the last six years. As a powerhouse in the greater Bay, Bay Area of Guangdong, Hong Kong, and Macau, Guangzhou plays a strategic role in the Belt and Road Initiative. It's worth to mention that the Bay Area will grow into the most populous and prosperous Bay Area in the world, together with New York, San Francisco, and Tokyo Bay Areas. Guangzhou, Nansha District to be specific, at its core, we have further open up to the outside world with huge potential to tap. The UK is an important trading partner and source of investment for Guangzhou. In 2016, the total value of import and export of goods stood at 16.38 billion RMB, up by 
7.7% year-on-year. The first quarter of this year witnessed rapid growth in trade in goods with 4.81 billion RMB of import and export increasing by 40.3%. Also, by April this year, Guangzhou has established 20 enterprises with a total investment of 282 million US dollars. Second, Guangzhou is a hub city with easy global access. Guangzhou is moving forward to building international shipping and aviation hubs. In terms of shipping, Guangzhou port is served by 81 liner routes and held, handled 544 million tons of cargo and 18.86 million TEU of containers in 2016, ranking sixth and seventh respectively in the world. In terms of aviation, Beijing International Airport operates 149 interna international routes. In 2016, the airport handled about 60 million passengers and 1.6 million tons of freight, increasing to 8 million and 2.5 million, respectively, by 2020, and further to 100 million and 3.5 million tons by 2025, making it a top 10 airport in the world. In addition, the 2018 world routes and the 2019 world ports will be held in Guangzhou. In China, Guangzhou also boosts one of the four major railway highway hubs, one of the three major communication hubs and international gateways. It also provides convenient public transport services to local citizens. 309 kilometers of metro lines carry over 7 million people every day and this increased by about 100 kilometers every year. Cashwelling services like Mobike and DD are thriving in the city. Third, Guangzhou is an early mover in SciTech innovation. With 120,000 SciTech innovation enterprises in the city, it also boosts plenty of innovative resources. For example, it has an incubation area of over 8 million square meters, a huge talent pool with nearly five, 550,000 university graduates every year, the second fast, fastest supercomputer in the world, the Galaxy 2, etc. According to the Fast Company, a US business magazine, 13 of China's 50 most innovative companies are based in Guangzhou. The city has well established itself in emerging industries such as info information technology, artificial intelligence, and bioscience. For example, Cisco's Smart City project Microsoft Cloud and Mobile Technology Incubation Program, Siemens Smart and Ecotech Display Center, Google's AdWords Experience Center, and LG's LCD and OLED project. And the list can go on and on. By today, we have tens of thousands of overseas companies, including 288 Fortune 500 companies investing in Guangzhou. Besides foreign investment, we have developed our own industrial leaders such as WeChat, Yihang, and iFlyTech. WeChat has over 800, 800 million monthly active users. Everywhere in China with smartphone, we are used an app. I guess it's as popular as Facebook in the UK. Yihang is another local brand which launched the world's first passenger drone. 300 Yihang passenger drones will fly in the air of Dubai after, after this July, and 1,000 will be shipped to America soon. iFlyTech is the largest list co corporation of intelligent speech and, uh, and artificial intelligence in Asia Pacific region. 
and it's called innovative. <coughs> sorry, and it's called innovative technologies represent the highest level across the world. It has just celebrated its 18th anniversary, and today we have its vice president, Dr. Du Lan, with us. Dr. Du, please stand up. Yeah, thank you. <clears throat> and she will attend the panel discussion later. Last but not least, Guangzhou is a leisure city of great taste and fun. As Guangzhou provides boundless of business opportunities and friendly environment, it also offers great food and fun. I believe you have tasted Cantonese food in Chinatown here in London, but to enjoy the best and the most authentic Ch Cantonese food, you must come to Guangzhou. You can jo enjoy more than 300 varieties of dim sum, not only delicious, but also good looking. You can also taste the fresh seafood from all over the world with the tongue burning Chinese liquor, Bai Jiu, Mao Tai. <laughs> so you may ask, Ellen, uh, yeah, Ellen is, okay. Ellen and June, yeah, has the experience. Uh -huh. They may tell you the very interesting stories, I think, if you talk with, with them later, okay? After a good meal, you can take a stroll alongside the Pearl River or go up to the Canton Tower for a panoramic view of the city, a hike to the Bayou Mountain, or a walk in the downtown wetland park will also be refreshing. With better air quality and flowers blossoming all year long, I think Guangzhou delivers its reputation as the flower city. Please come and see for yourself. Ladies and gentlemen, dear friends, this March, Foxconn Technology Group launched an 8.8 .8 billion USD flat panel screen factory in Guangzhou. It took us 50 days to reach this deal, and construction started only six days later. This is commanded as the Guangzhou speed by the Mr. Taylor Guo, founder and chairman of Foxconn. Guangzhou is increasingly chosen as the investment destination by movers and shakers of very various industries. With this in mind, I'd like to announce that Guangzhou will be hosting the 2017 Fortune Global Forum during December 6th to 8th this year. And I cordially invite you to come to Guangzhou for this year's FGF. I'm confident that your FGF 2017 will be an unforgettable experience. Welcome to Guangzhou. Thank you. <laughs>